This video is going to be about removing the 455 kilohertz intermediate frequency from the detected audio. And this is a typical AA5, All-American 5 radio circuit. And the part of the circuit that we're going to be looking at is right here. Here's a closer look. And this is the circuit that is involved in detecting and also removing the 455 kilohertz. Right now I have only the generator hooked up to the oscilloscope and I am approximating 455 kilohertz. The generator dial is on a little over 40 and the select switch is on 10k so that's a little over 400k now I'm going to go down one which is 1k times 1k so this would be 40k down one more this would be 4000 down one more and this is 400 but what I want to point out notice the level that's coming out of the generator it is pretty close to being the same level as I go up and down the frequency. No circuit involved. I have built this similar circuit. This is the build and this is the circuit. There's a few differences in values but uh, basically it's the same thing. The input is from the or would be from the IF but I'm going to be using a signal generator and we're going to be taking a look at the output with an oscilloscope and I'm going to be changing this circuit as I go up and down the frequencies to see how this picks off the intermediate frequency and leaves the audio. I'm going to be able to remove the 170 picofarad capacitor and also I'm going to be able to short out that 51k ohm resistor to see what it does in the circuit. Now I have the circuit hooked into this. The input is going to the diode and the output is through that dot zero zero two microfarad capacitor that would go <coughs> excuse me to the grid of the 12 AV6 now this is 400 now I'm going to go up to 4000 and you can see that the level has dropped but still pretty good audio now I'm going to go up to 40 and now it's dropped some more and now I'm going to go up to 400k and now it has dropped more and it is there's some there but it's it's very little compared to the audio which is right here okay Gonna move this back to 400k, and I'm gonna remove that 170 picofarad capacitor. And as you can see, there's a pretty big difference there.
and I'm going to remove the resistor by shorting it out. So that resistor also helps in this filtering. Okay, I'm going to put in the resistor again. And I'm going to uh, put the capacitor back in. There we go. So both that 51K that I have in this circuit and the 170 picofarad capacitor help filter out the RF. There's the audio. Now I'm going to take out the capacitor. Let's see a little difference. And now I'm going to short out the resistor. And there's a little bit of difference again, but not much. It's only when we get up into the higher frequencies that it matters. Okay, let's take out the capacitor again. Now I'm going to short out that resistor, taking it out of the circuit. And put them both back in one more time. As you saw in the video, the combination of R4, which is 51K in my circuit, and the 220 picofarad, which is 170 in my circuit, drained off almost all the 455 kilohertz intermediate frequency, leaving a good, strong audio signal. There is still some 455 left, and that further gets filtered out in the following three capacitors. The last capacitor all the way to the right, that dot zero two, also influences the audio, but if there is any RF left, it'll get drained off through that capacitor through the 150 ohm resistor to ground. Thanks for watching.